Hey guys, it's Lynn again. I am going to talk today about an example of when a limit does not exist. So we talked earlier about the uniqueness and what makes a limit a limit and some of the things you've never seen before probably until you got to a calculus class. Well, we also have to talk about when a limit does not exist. Your directions on all your questions will always say, determine the limit or find the limit if it exists. So there's gonna be many times when it does not exist. What does that look like? Well, we said before, um, sort of the classic example illustrating what a limit is. We had a graph like this, and then a point like this. And again, we're talking about the limit as x approaches three of some function and that is always going to equal a y value. So this was the example that I've shown before. If we highlight the x value of 3, and remember we don't care about what happens when x equals 3. We only care about the vicinity around the x value of 3. So as we're approaching on this curve from the left, the y values are approaching. As x is getting closer and closer to 3, the y values are approaching what? from both directions. The y values are getting closer to two. So the limit in this case, the limit as x approaches three of this function, let's call it f, will equal the actual y value, which is two. Not the point when x equals three, but the y value that we are approaching as x is approaching three. That's the big limit idea. So the big idea with a limit not existing is that idea of from both sides. From both sides is very important with limits. So if we have a situation with another jump on a graph that might look like something like that. So again, we have this hole and we have a jump and all that good stuff going on. Um, so let's say we're approaching 2 on the x value this time. So we're talking about the limit as x approaches 2, let's call this function g, equals, now what value, what value is y approaching as the x values are approaching 2? As you can see from the left, getting closer, 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 closer to 2 on the x's, y over here, the y values are getting close to that value. But from the right, we're coming in over here, x values are getting closer and closer to two, so this might be 2.5, 2.1, 2.01. The y values are actually approaching here, four. So if the y values are approaching two different numbers from the separate, from the different sides, then this is a situation where the limit does not exist. So DNE does not exist if the y values are approaching two different things from the separate sides. Another situation that you might see would just simply be something like this. So this would be a piecewise defined function. Both of these would be some type of piecewise defined function. I don't really care what it looks like as a function written out with the algebra, with the x's and all that kind of stuff. I don't really care. All we're talking about still is the graphs, what the graphs look like. So again, if we're talking here, the limit as x approaches three of this function f, again, from the left side, the y values are getting close to zero, but from the right, as x is approaching three, the y values are staying constant actually, but the y values are always, it looks like one here. So there's one from the right, but zero from the left means the limit does not exist. One final example I wanted to show you, which you will see quite a few times, um, whether if it's with limits or just in your other applications throughout the whole class of calculus, you'll see situations like this. So whenever you have a vertical asymptote in your graph, 
This means that for whatever reason, x is never going to equal 0. x cannot equal 0 for some reason. Again, I don't care what the function looks like algebraically. All I know is from this graph, if we're talking about limits, let's say the limit, this would be the limit as x approaches 0 of this function equals so the limit as x approaches 0 from the left, this curve, as we're getting close to 0, is going down and down and down to negative infinity. It's going to go down forever, right? But as we're approaching 0 from the right, this curve is actually going up and up and up. It's increasing. The y values are increasing to, to positive infinity. So here the y values are going to negative infinity. From the right, they're going to positive infinity. They're, first of all, they're not approaching numbers at all. They're approaching infinity, which is not a single number. Also, they're approaching two different things from the separate sides. So for those two reasons, this limit would also not exist. So there's a few instances graphically where your limits are not going to exist. Any more questions, please leave comments. Keep coming back. I want to help you guys. Good luck.